Hi everyone, this is Sammy Diamond from Champpoint Wizard. In this episode I'd like to show you a new feature that uh, exists in the new Teams app, uh, Teams uh, 2.0. And uh, actually, it's possible to add a document library to an existing uh, document library. Um, let, let me explain what I mean. So I'm now in the team, new teams app, and I'm in a team uh, which is called Mark 8 Project Team. I'll go to the general tab, and I will go to the file tab. The file tab shows, um, you see, the document library which is called documents and for each uh, channel we have a folder so in this case general is the folder I created here uh, another folder just for demonstrating now if we go and click on the three dots we have here we can add a shortcut to OneDrive we can download we can open in SharePoint and we can add a document library this is new uh, before you could add uh, different things, but let's see what it does. So I'll click on this and now I see some recommendations of um, sites or document libraries which are within it. And uh, let's say I want to choose uh, the documents. Now, as you can see, I can also put a URL and it will actually uh, give me... So I'll choose the teams. Uh, a site and here actually I will be asked to to choose a document library within this uh, site. I'm waiting and waiting nothing is happening so let's try again. I'll choose the teams I'll click next. <coughs> now it's better. So here are all of the document libraries that exist Let's choose the invoices. I'll choose the invoices, mark it, click confirm. <coughs> and we see actually a new folder or actually a link to this um, document library is here within this um, document library of this uh, Teams. You see there's here an icon. Uh, of like a like a folder with a link. It very much reminds the link to OneDrive. But uh, let's see if I click here now. You see, I can see uh, um, how it looks. In this case, uh, there's some kind of um, workflow which is running, and I'm not interested to do so. So actually, I'm now in this invoice uh, document library I can open up in SharePoint and it will show me actually the invoice uh, document library which is in the Teams um, site. I will just upload the document library just to see the actual oh, file just to see that actually uh, I can see. So I'm I have uploaded this um, document. Uh, let's go back here. I will go back and in the invoices, I see this document. Now, uh, I want to tell you that I, I was very curious and I wanted to see, is it just a link? Well, actually it is because if I go here to the uh, regular uh, library and I uh, say open in SharePoint, actually you see this folder. We don't see the, uh, the additional folder which is a link in, sh in the SharePoint backend. We can see it only in the, in the Teams app. That could be a bit confusing because it's not consistent. I would expect there would be here a link. Um, and the same way I could go here, I could go back and actually I could go to general. This is the folder which is a real folder. This is uh, the new 
document library link that we have within the teams within the document library. So if we go here, we can do so. Now what's interesting is, by the way, um, you will see it only if you have permissions and if you only have read, you will only have uh, read access. Let's try to add another one. And this time it will be a click jump site. And I choose the document. And now I see another document which is actually in a click jump. Now, if I try, what I can do is I can only delete it. I was looking if it's possible to rename. Seems like it's not possible. I click on the three dots, nothing is possible. So what I can do is edit in grid view, add a document library and delete. I would like maybe to rename because as you saw, if I choose uh, anything else, actually, and I have two document libraries, that would be of even confusing. Um, let's try to add another one which has a document libraries. Um, mm -hmm. Here we have this one. And here, this is giving me two document libraries with two sites with a document library named and each one is something different and uh, it's not really easy to understand. So I would first recommend maybe to the possibility to link, to rename. Uh, as you see, this link is not showing in SharePoint. It's only in the document library within the Teams uh, app, uh, which is actually the file tab. Now, um, of course, you can add libraries not within this um, this specific uh, file tab. You can click the plus and uh, actually you could look for uh, SharePoint. And we have SharePoint pages. And from SharePoint, we could actually choose uh, pages, document libraries, and stuff. So you see there's only one like this, but if there were additional, we could do that. And we could also put a link. Let's go back, maybe choose something different. I want SharePoint, but I want it on a different site. Uh, how do we do this? Uh, document libraries. I think I could put a link here. So let's go here and actually choose something different. Choose a library that someone else is using. Here we have the document library of the digital and I will put it as a link, save it, and probably I could also uh, uh, rename it and give it a, an, uh, something that has some meaning. So let's rename it and let's call this uh, digit. And now we have a, a different library, uh, of course, here we have everything in one place and uh, permissions, we cannot do any permission issues here, but here uh, we can have a separate tab for uh, document libraries that exist in the same site or teams or uh, different ones. So this is what I wanted to demonstrate. Uh, if you like my channel, subscribe. You can click the bell in order to get an alert. And uh, thank you for following me and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.